Good morning and welcome to Integrity Sales and Services. Dave and I are going to give you a nice video of our 2001 GMC C7500 forestry bucket truck with a high ranger boom. Dave's going to go ahead and fire up this big old gas motor and we're going to let you see that we have the PTO engaged right now and we're going to let you see that it absolutely works on the outriggers and then later we're going to show you the pony motor. Like I said, we're going to do the pony motor later. We do have the PTO in right now. We're going to show you that the, 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 if this does work off the, the engine and also the pony motor. We're going to show you that later in the video. Okay, so as you've seen there, the outriggers move. We have the PTO engaged, and it runs, and the bucket and everything operates from the big truck motor. But later in the video, you'll see where the savings comes in by running it from the little three-cylinder whispering fuel-sucking motor. Folks, let's go ahead and walk up right here. Dave's going to find the dipstick for us and pull that out, and we're going to let you check, take a look at the engine blow-by. First off, let's look at this nice, clean oil. Now, look, you can see right through the stick on that oil. It's just like brand new. Now, let's go ahead and let you look at the blow-by. Folks, right there, you're looking at the dipstick too, and there's absolutely no motor compression escaping that crankcase, period. Now listen to this sucker purr, very nice and smooth. With that, Dave's gonna shut the engine off so that we can hear better in the video, and I'm gonna start right here on this driver's side steer tire and let you have a look. We have very nice, clean 22.5 tires, very decent tread on them, somewhere in that 60% range. Take a look how nice and clean it is under the undercarriage, nice heavy spring suspension. Take a look how nice and clean the actual engine itself looks and no, it has not been power washed. What you're seeing, folks, is it's work clothes. No rust on the cowling underneath here. You can take a look. You can see the belts. Everything are intact. And with that, I'm going to zip on around and let you see that from the passenger side. Okay, as you can see, folks, we have a duplication. We have Michelin steer tires somewhere in that 70% range. Take a look under the engine, front axle beam, and you can see everything looks very clean and respectable. Take a look at the actual engine from this side. There you get a look at the radiator itself. You can see the fins are in good shape, not falling apart. With that, we're going to close the hood. And we're going to go ahead and continue with the video. Now, first thing, folks, we're going to walk up and start up this pony motor well, for what you. What I'm going to do for you now is, is we've shut off the expensive gas motor. I'm going to fire up the nice pony motor that just saves you lots of money and fuel. And I'm going to operate the boom as we walk around and show you the rest of the truck. So I'll, I'm going to open this door. The key's right in here. Up in here is your control over here for your choke and your throttle. Now, I'm going to go ahead and fire it up with the key right inside, right here. As you can see, hey, this key starts really nice. Okay, folks, you just heard this little three-cylinder Kubota motor fire up, and Dave just turned the uh, pressure to the upper controls there, and he's going to climb up and let you take a look and show you how this sucker performs from the bucket. So what we're going to do is we're going to back off here a minute, and I'm going to let you see that when he kicks her in, that pony motor, you absolutely can hear it working, but man, look at the speed of that sucker go up. That pony motor does not jeopardize any speed for the fuel savings versus running it with your big V8 motor. Look at that sucker move. It is fast, it's responsive, it's quick, and it saves you thousands in that fuel in a year's time. I'm telling you folks, look at that sucker go up and over very, very, very fast. It just moves flawlessly, and instead of running on big eight-cylinder gas motor, hogging the fuel, you're sitting there on a Kubota three-cylinder gasoline motor that is just sitting there sucking it very, very slow. It'll run for hours and hours on a tank of fuel on that Kubota pony motor. Now, folks, we have a full XT5 High Ranger Boom break over center. Now, look at that. He comes right down over center. He can come right down to the ground and work with the ground crew without climbing out of the bucket. Now, look how important that is to you, folks. That break over center hydraulically, fully hydraulic operated boom is second to none for speed and performance. As you can see, you have two cylinders down there at the bottom controlling this pivot, and then you have the third cylinder down here controlling the raise. So there are no chains, cables, and so forth. You are looking at a totally hydraulic controlled boom with as minimal moving parts as humanly possible to maintain. Now, folks, we can do boom inspections for you. We have one of our employees that are certified boom inspectors by the American Crane Association. So if you need a certification for it, just ask about it. We do have that service available. The truck itself comes with a current DOT inspection. It has been completely repainted because it was originally orange. We have some people that don't like the safety orange. So we have the sandblasted and painted the lower part of the truck and we did the cab, the bed, and everything. Now look at that rotation. You can see the 360 rotation works just fine as well. Let's come on back here, and while he's doing that, I'm gonna come over here and let you see from a different angle. You can see it moves very flawlessly there as he pivots and rotates it around. And it will go a continuous 360 degree rotation. And 
again, if you'll watch, when he stops the rotation, the boom's not going to sway and jerk. It just stops where he lets off the lever because of the fact that the bull gear and everything is very, very tight on it. There you go. You can see it going right on around. Now, the old-style booms, folks, you can only go a half a turn, 180 degrees, and he's just going to continue right on around. It's no problem. The way it's done, you don't have to worry about stopping and going back. You just go for it and get her done. Folks, with that, while he's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and start down the passenger side of the truck here. I'm going to let you have a nice look at it. You can see how nice and clean the cab is. Everything is nice and straight. Even the decking on top is in excellent condition. Folks, let's move on down. You can see the component motor compartment, the toolboxes, and the side of the chipper dump box. Now, when Dave gets back to his resting point, I'm going to walk up and raise up the chipper dump box, and I'm going to flip that up so that you can get a good look at the bottom of the box. Down. Well, as you can see, when he stops that bolt gear, folks, absolutely no jerking and, and hesitation there at all. Now, Dave's going to go ahead and set the bucket down and come on down, and then we're going to raise up the box for you. Okay, folks, I'm going to walk up and flip my directional lever. I'm going to idle this motor down a bit so we can hear better in the video. I'm going to idle her down just a little bit. Now I'm going to change the uh, flow selector, and now we're going to go ahead and raise the box up for you. Now just take a look at that. Sitting here as quiet as ever, and that box just flawlessly raises up, and all I'm doing is standing here and using the control right here by the outrigger. Look at her go up. Okay, with that, I'm going to go ahead and shut off the motor so we can hear better in the video. And we'll go ahead and walk around this truck and give you a nice video. Now, folks, I already started by the cab. I'm going to let you finish off right here by the driver's uh, passenger door area. Look and see that there's no rust around these steps or anything whatsoever. Now, one thing I want to note here is that we, we ran this body up with the pony motor, but you can also do that off the truck engine. So if you're using the dump mode and you don't have to start the pony motor to do that, you can run off either one. So another thing I want to show you is that we are boom certified here. We're accredited by the American Crate Association. As you notice, I was not afraid at all to jump right up in this bucket and go right to the top. Makes no difference. We check all the tolerance. Every hose has been checked, uh, and we put our stamp of approval on there. Folks, with that, I'm going to have Dave open the compartment to the Kubota pony motor, and we're going to let you have a nice look in the compartment, and we'll also let you look in the toolbox area. Now, folks, look how nice and clean it is. Here you can see the previous safety yellow I talked about before. Look at this nice, clean motor. Look at the nice, clean radiator. Now we'll have a look inside the toolbox compartment so that you can see as well that they're not all rusted out or any problems. Now, look, folks, we got the drain holes back there on the floor. Otherwise, absolutely no rust in it. you got all the side-to-side -side compartments for your long tools. And look at the back of the box, folks. It is in flawless condition. Take a look at this nice heavy duty frame, suspension, look at the bottom of this body, absolutely no rust holes of any shape or sort, and look at this nice so actual silver hoist. And we've greased this hoist and everything, it is ready to go into service for you. With that, I'm going to have Dave fire up the pony motor and leave the body down and we can get you a nice video of the rest of the truck with the body in its lowered position. And while he's doing that, I'm going to walk up close, let you have a nice look at the rear painted rims. You can take a look at the actual tire tread. We got somewhere in that 70-80% tread range. And now we'll go ahead and watch this body. We're going to drop it down and then we'll get you a nice video around the rest of the truck. Okay, now that we've got it lower, Dave's going to go ahead and shut the engine off again so we can hear better. And what I want to point out, folks, is look at this nice, straight, clean body, folks. No dents in the side. It is in mint condition. Even look around the back lights in that, folks. It is nice and clean. Very nice, straight tailgate. And look at the back of this. You have the big, heavy-duty panel hitch. you got the plug-in for the brake controls. And take a look under the back of the truck looking forward. Look how nice and clean. Where are you going to go find that in this year of truck? Folks, let's come on around and we'll work our way up along the driver's side of the chipper dump box and you can see it's an absolute repeat duplication of the passenger side including the tires look how nice and deep tread you can see the rims the spring pack side of the frame the dual toolbox doors on this side everything straight latches and everything included and in working order now let's take a look at the driver's side of the cab and you can see folks it's an absolute repeat of the passenger side nice clean fuel tank no sign of any rust blisters whatsoever just take a look and judge it for yourself okay folks let's go ahead and give you a nice look at the inside of the cab. You can start right here and you can see we have an excellent interior on the trim and around the door panel. And here's this Chelsea PTO we showed you earlier. And let's go ahead and take a look at this driver's seat. Full bench seat, folks. Take a look. You can get three passengers in this sucker and seat belt them in and go do the job. 
nice overhead ceiling in it. Take a look at the nice clean dash, folks. This truck obviously has not been abused. Now, here is an impressive part. 50,194 miles. Tell me where you're going to find it, folks. There's not many out there. Five-speed transmission. It has the hand parking brake, hydraulic brakes, non-CDL. The GVW on it is 25,950, so anybody can drive it. Folks, with that, I'm going to exit the truck, and I'm going to let Dave uh, give you some closing comments on the truck. Hey, thanks for shopping Integrity Sales. If this is not the right boom you want, we've got bigger ones, shorter ones, Altex, High Rangers. I have uh, grinders available. Uh, give me a call, and I'd like to fix you up. Check out my website, www.the two numeral nines, nine nine, and the word trucks, T R U C K S. Go to our homepage, click on forestry. You can look at the grinders. You can click on all trucks and trailers. Look at all of our inventory. We're accredited business by. Uh, by the Better Business Bureau, I'd love to do business with you and make you money. Give me a call at 260-238-5000. Thanks.